Hi everybody and welcome back on the channel. Uh, today I wanted to make a special video because there uh, there have been some uh, concerning uh, declaration on, on Twitter by the Panzer Dragon VR maker. Uh, you know the Voyage Record, the, the, the VR game that is coming normally this year. So we are going to discuss that in a, in a little while. Uh, but first, let me uh, update you on a few things that uh, most of you probably already know, but uh, for some of you who have uh, maybe missed that, I will uh, give you an update on, on, the, on the games coming this year. So we have Panzer Dragoon 2 uh, coming this year in 2021. It has been confirmed by uh, Forever Entertainment uh, last week. Uh, so that's good news. Hopefully, I mean, we were expecting the game uh, not not too long from now, but it's been confirmed that they are planning on, on releasing the game this year. Uh, it remains to be seen when exactly. We have not seen anything about the game yet. Uh, you know, due to COVID, uh, most of the uh, events have been cancelled, but um, maybe there will be some online uh, events that uh, Forever Entertainment will use to uh, to communicate uh, on the game. So hopefully we will uh, we will see uh, about about this game soon because a lot of you uh, consider this uh, their their favorite game in the series, uh, and I can see why it's a very uh, very action packed game. Uh, very, very. Uh, it has a very uh, nice pace. Uh, the music is great, so we are really excited to to see how this game this game will uh, will look done by uh, Forever Entertainment. The other update is about uh, Panzer Dragoon remake, the first game coming on PlayStation 4 in Japan. Because I, I was not aware of that, but uh, in Japan the game was only released on Switch. So it's been now confirmed that the game is coming on the 25th of, or 26th of March. So uh, our friends from Japan will be happy to uh, to see the Panzer Dragoon game coming on, on the PlayStation 4 platform. And it's also compatible with the PlayStation 5 if you have one. So uh, either, either console is a PlayStation or PlayStation 4 Pro or PlayStation 5. You will be able to to enjoy the game on on the 25th or 26th of March, so that's good news for that. And uh, and that's about it for for the short news. Uh, now we are going to discuss this uh, this reasoning uh, this this uh, uh, argument that we've had uh, today on Twitter with uh, the Panzer Dragoon uh, remake uh, VR maker. Uh, the reason we started this argument. Uh, I mean, I say argument, but it's it's more a discussion uh, for me. It's it's interesting. It's uh, it's maybe it it may look a little bit more wounded from from the outside, but it's still important to discuss this kind of thing because uh, we are really touching something something very important here with the reasoning that uh, Panzer Dragon VR Maker may have and that Sega might have, and I think they are wrong, very very wrong on that. Let me explain why. So basically, recently, uh, the Panzer Dragoon VR maker uh, stated that um, if we want to see uh, Azel to return, to come back, we need to support the, the VR game. Uh, so I asked for a clarification. Is this something that Sega is saying? Or is, is it his point? Is it his reasoning? And, and why would we, uh, we, would we need to, to support uh, a VR game to see uh, necessarily uh, as a comeback. Uh, so basically, he's saying that uh, that the only way for him uh, to see Panzer Dragoon Saga to come back is uh, to see the success of Panzer Dragoon VR uh, materialize in sales because it will be the first game to have uh, some sequences from Azel. And I don't get that. How is that? How is that? Uh, how does that relate to, to uh, the original Panzer Dragoon saga? It's a RPG. What does it have to do with the success of a VR game? And when, when I when I say that uh, the first game has already released uh, the first remake and it sold well, and we are going to have Spy, he's saying that it has nothing to do because it's a different game. It doesn't bring any any success to the to the Azel game. Uh, He's saying that the original Panzer Dragoon Saga, the Azel uh, game in Japan, it sold poorly. But no, it actually did not sell poorly. It actually sold out in the West. Every copy that was made sold out. It was impossible to find a copy of the game. So how can we say seriously 
with all our sin mind that this game sold poorly. It did not sell poorly, Sega wanted it to sell poorly. Or, let me rephrase that, Sega probably did not do what they had to do for it to be successful. Simply because they, they had the fire in the house, the Sega was dead, the Saturn was dead, they were focusing on the new project, the, the Dreamcast, and I understand that they had, they had other priorities, which is fine, but you can't say that Panzer Dragoon Saga sold poorly. No, it did not. You made it sell poorly. You did not market it correctly. You didn't produce enough copies. When all the, the existing copies sold out, did you produce additional copies? No, you didn't. Did you produce marketing? Did you provide uh, enough support for this game to, 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 uh, to release in the condition to be successful? This, you need to remember this project, Panzer Dragon Saga, was very, very ambitious for its time. It was the most ambitious project for Sega before Shenmue. And Shenmue lost them, uh, cost them a lot of money and, and was not commercially successful neither. But you need to, to remember where we are coming from. This game was very ambitious, yes. And Sega did not do what they had to do to, to, to back their, their project. If you compare to Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy did not happen in one day. Final Fantasy is a series of games that, that grew, that grew, and, and that uh, grew a fan base game after game after game. It built success over the previous game. And slowly they started building a, a fan base. How can you make a new RPG out of nowhere and expect it to sell like that without a little bit of marketing? It's not the, the fault, you can't blame the game. The game is great, we know it, the press, the media, gave it great scores, gave it great great ratings. It's it's I mean it's considered a masterpiece and it's not fun. There's no there must be some substance to that, right? Most people, I mean 99% of the people who played it and who uh, testified on, on the via the community told me that it's a masterpiece that they love it. So you, you, you can't say the game sold poorly because it's bad. It's a great game and Sega unfortunately doesn't seem to understand that. They don't seem to understand that there is a way to re-release this game that, that doesn't necessarily need to go through uh, VR. VR is great, don't get me wrong, I think it's a great opportunity for uh, this uh, passionate developer to make his project. But you can't use Saga as a bait to, to, promise, us to, to, to promise us to get a Panzer Dragon Saga remade someday. What is the strategy behind that? Then tell me. Oh, when will you consider that Panzer Dragon VR is successful? How many copies? Can you give us a number? And then what will you do if it's successful for you, according to, uh, to you or to Sega? Uh, explain us, what will you do? Will you remake the full game in VR? Well, that's not good enough for me. That's not good enough for many people. We don't want that. I want the VR game, but I want also the original game remade or remastered or simply re-released on Switch. That's fine, you can, you can give me the game on Switch, you can give us the game on Switch. There is a tiny screen here, even if it's ugly with a, with a low resolution, we can play that on Switch. You don't need to spend millions like what I've seen. We, we are not asking for, for a remake that costs millions. That's not, that's not the point. The other option would be, if you check what uh, Blizzard is doing recently with uh, Diablo 2, they are running the original source code and the original uh, ROM of the game, the original game, underneath, and they have uh, recreated a layer with new models, with new uh, characters, with new models, with new textures, etc. So the, the, um, what you see is modern, but underneath it's still playing like the original game. The, the, the items, uh, the items drops, uh, the enemy placement, etc., etc., uh, the skills, it's all playing like the original game. And I think they could do that with Panzer Dragon Saga. They could keep uh, the music, the sound direction. Um, uh, they, they could keep uh, most, most of the original game, the, the, the placement. They could, you know, use emulators, uh, maybe M2 Studio, the, Japan, the famous Japanese studio, who is very, which is very good at uh, emulating games. They could emulate the game and even if there are visual glitches, it wouldn't matter because there would be an additional layer, an additional coat of fresh paint with new models maybe done by Sega. 
And you are not telling me that this would cost millions, right? They could they could find a way to 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 produce that that in a in a tight project. Don't don't tell me it's not possible. It, it's totally possible. We we are not asking for a brand new uh, remade uh, uh, game from scratch. That's not the point. I mean, if we can get that, fine. But uh, w w what we can't accept is this reasoning here that uh, to get to to this to this other remade or remaster we need to support the VR game. No, no, that we, you should not be saying that. You, you should say that uh, uh, if, if there are fans of the game as well, then yes, there will be some sequences from, from the game, the original game that will be remade in my game in VR. That's cool, but don't bait us. Don't, don't emotionally blackmail us with, with this false promise because, because we don't know what we're gonna get next. You you are playing with uh, with the fans and that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Even for the entertainment, did not do that. They when we asked them the question about Saga, they said we don't know. We don't know if the if the game uh, the first game and the sequel is doing well. Maybe Sega will check that and uh, will you know they are, they are looking at the, at the games and at the numbers and maybe they will do something. That's the correct answer. But you can't promise something if you don't have the full the full promise, you know, you need to tell us if that's the case, if Sega told you that uh, you can remake the game, how will you remake it in full in VR? No, that's not what I want. That's not what most of the most of the people want. Uh, there are VR enthusiasts here and that's fine. I will probably buy a PSVR 2 to support your game. And I tell you completely honestly, I will probably do that if I can afford uh, the, the headset and maybe if there are some cool games on, on this uh, new generation of uh, VR hardware such as uh, Half-Life Alyx for instance, I've never played that game um, and if I buy a headset I would like to be able to play also this, this game, not just Panzer Dragon VR but no, you, you can't tell me that uh, it's the only way to get to uh, Azure. Uh, I want a proper RPG experience not a VR, I want a game that I can experience with my controller uh, and yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, what, that's, that's what most people want. That's what many RPG enthusiasts want. Some people who have never played the Panzer Dragon series and who don't care about the rail shooter or the VR game, they, some of them really want to experience the, the RPG game because of, this, because of its legacy, because of its uh, aura and of its uh, ratings uh, through the years. Everybody praising the game. There's, there is a, a community here and, a, and a, an audience that want to play this game, not, not via uh, VR. So you need to hear that. You need to provide answers. Uh, I think at this point, I think it's, it's, we need answers from Sega themselves. We can't have that uh, blackmail saying, if you want Azal to come back, you need to support this game. It's not going to work. It's a, it's a it's a disaster in terms of, of communication. Also, you need to remember that uh, Mr. Futatsugi, the original creator of the series, uh, he said that he wants to do an open world game. And it's exactly what I pitched in my petition uh, more than three years ago now, four years ago. I pitched that, I, co I uh, contacted uh, Sega, I contacted Yukio Futatsugi, and, and later in, in interviews and in my interviews as well, he said that he wants to do that. So Sega, you need to listen to that. VR is one way to do Panzer Dragoon. Yes, it's, it's smart. I think it's smart to do that. But you can't say it's the only way. It's totally wrong and it's totally uh, twisted as a logic, as a reasoning. There is a, a potential for, for, uh, for Panzer Dragoon to come back in, 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 in RPG. Uh, for instance, I, I forgot to mention that uh, this time, but uh, you know, the Panzer Dragoon VR maker like to make fun of that. But uh, these images, these fake images, they are actually concepts uh, pitched by a very uh, talented artist who uh, reimagined the Panzer Dragoon saga uh, dragon. And I think it's a very fresh take, a very modern, that uh, really make us want to, 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 to you know, uh, have a new vision and replay this game with, with new visuals. And I think this is clearly lacking, this vision is clearly lacking at Sega right now, and I hope they can fix that uh, shortly. So uh, we, need, we need clarification from Sega, we need clarification from the Panzer Dragoon VR 
maker uh, about uh, the, his uh, recent declaration on, on Twitter. Uh, we can't accept to be blackmailed, so uh, we, need, we need answers here. And I think you got the point for, I think this video will do for today. Uh, thank you for supporting this channel as always. Thank you for supporting me on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. I'm, I'm, you know, I have created this community mainly, mainly to see uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga come back in some form. So I can't accept someone to tell me the only way for this game to come back is to support the VR game. No, I won't to want to support your VR game. That's what I want. I want to be willing to support your VR game, but not because you are blackmailing me to get to Azel's or Poison Dragon Saga. That's not acceptable for me, and that's not acceptable for most of the people. So thank you again for your support. Take care and, and stay safe during this pandemic, and uh, I'll speak to you soon on the, on the channel and uh, on, 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 uh, on the Twitter account as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.